Welcome back to Season 9 of my Oklahoma Sooners Death Penalty Dynasty. Today we are in Week 13 in our final regular season SEC game, taking on the LSU Tigers, who are currently 1-9. They are led by senior quarterback Steve Freyan, who is an 82 overall at running back an 84 overall, and Perry Jones, who has 92 speed. But even if he goes down, their backup Alvin Horton also has 92 speed. At wide receiver, they have an 81 overall in Julian Washington, a 79 in Clint Massey, and a 78 overall in Derek Love. We have already secured our spot in the SEC Championship, so it does not matter what happens today. We are just trying to remain undefeated. But for the SEC East, Alabama and Florida are still fighting to see who is headed to the SEC Championship. They also play each other today. The winner of that game will be headed to the SEC Championship. Over on the Heisman watch list, Chris McKinney has fallen down a spot. He did not have a terrific game last week. He still ran for 100 yards and a touchdown, but he had run for 200 yards, and then a game after that, he ran for five touchdowns. So he kind of skyrocketed to the top, but he's still in the top five with a Heisman watch list. As you can tell from their record, LSU is having a really, really bad season. Their only win came against currently 2-8 Appalachian State, and they have lost every other game. We are coming off a 49-0 victory over the Missouri Tigers. It was complete domination from start to finish, but now let's jump into this game. We will get the ball to start today. It's first and 10 from the 25-yard line. Griffin's back in shotgun. He'll take the snap, and we're going to throw a screen to McKinney on the first play of the game. He has blockers out in front of him, and on the first play today, Chris McKinney is going to be able to take this one all the way inside the five and into the end zone. Touchdown Oklahoma from 75 yards out. And a studio update as we just started this game. The number seven team in the country, Texas A&M, has fallen to Texas 26-23. Also, Alabama and Florida are currently in the third quarter. It is 14 to 16, Florida on top right now. LSU will take over at the 25 yard line following a touchback. Brayden out of shotgun will be looking to pass. He throws underneath and that's incomplete. Second and 10, back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap as a handoff to Jones up the middle. He'll break one tackle, but can't get away from Walter Siegel. Only a gain of two. Third and eight, a possible three and out already. Brayden in shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. And he throws underneath, that's caught by Jones, and he will end up with the first down for LSU, a gain of nine. No gain on the next play, brings up a second and ten for the Tigers. Both running backs in the backfield here. Freyan will take the snap and look to pass. He lobs it down the sideline, that's caught by Love, who breaks the tackle, but is brought down for a 17-yard gain in Sooner territory. A six-yard screen on the next play would bring up a second and four for the Tigers. Freyan out of shotgun, will hand off to Horton, who goes up the middle and will end up with the first down, a gain of seven. Brand in shotgun from the 34-yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass here. He throws to the outside that's caught by Reed, and that will be a first down play for LSU again, a gain of 11. Brand in shotgun one more time from the 23-yard line. He'll drop back to pass, and he throws over the middle that's caught by Love, and he's quickly brought down by David Jordan. That sets up a second and seven from about the 20-yard line. Brand in shotgun will look to pass a quick throw caught by Battle, and he'll end up with a first down for a gain of nine. First and 10 with five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Brayden in shotgun will send Jones in motion. He is now the only one in the backfield. He'll take the snap and throw over the middle. That's caught by battle and that's a gain of about five. He'll take the snap and look to pass. And he throws downfield caught by Washington. He will be close to the marker. He does get the first down, first and goal. He sends his tight end in motion here on first and goal from about the two yard line. He'll take the snap, toss it to the outside to Jones, who tries to use his speed and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, LSU. They tie this game up at seven. Another studio update. They are now in the fourth quarter. It is 21-22. Florida on top right now. On their last drive, Oklahoma was able to score on the very first play of the game. Now first and 10 from the 25 again, and they'll just hand it to Chris McKinney, who goes up the middle for the first down run, a gain of 10. From the new set of downs, we come out with both running backs in the backfield. We'll give it back to McKinney, who goes up the middle and has another first down run for the Sooners. This one a 12-yard gain. First and 10, now Griffin with a five-wide set. He'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll go over the middle. That's caught by Mangum, and another first down for the Sooners, a gain of 10. First and 10 for Griffin now. We'll send McKinney in motion. Patterson's in the backfield. We'll drop back to pass. He's going to throw over the middle. That's caught by Mangum for another first down for the Sooners. This one a gain of 16. First and 10. Now Griffin lines up under center with McKinney in the backfield. We give it to McKinney, who has to bounce off one of his own blockers and ends up getting brought down for a gain of three. They finally stopped us from getting a first down. Griffin in shotgun for the next play. 
on second and seven. He'll drop back to pass. And not seeing anyone come over, we'll roll out to the outside. And now we'll stop and throw downfield. That one will be incomplete. It looked like Harrington. No, he did come down with that. Wait, William Brown caught it? I am so confused. All right, let's figure out exactly what happened here. I rolled out with Sean Griffin. I threw downfield. There are two receivers in the area here. First, John Carrington catches it, and I guess he somehow lost control of it because then William Brown comes up with the catch, and he's a meet. Wait, okay, why did he just stop running? He was never down. I have no idea what happened on this play, but first down, Oklahoma. No gain from Chris McKinney on the next play brings up a second and 10 for the Sooners. Griffin in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to go to the end zone, and that is a touchdown to John Mangum, and we take the lead right back. Now it's 14 to 7. Another studio update, Alabama has taken the lead 29 to 22. With a minute 45 to play in the first quarter, it's first and 10, Fran over the middle, caught by Hall, that's a gain of nine to start their drive. Now second and one, Fran back in shotgun, he'll take the snap and look to pass again. He throws underneath and that will be incomplete. That brings up a third and one, Fran in shotgun with both running backs in the backfield, they give it to Jones who goes up the middle for the first down, a gain of five. An incomplete pass on first down brings up second and 10. Friend out of shotgun will be looking to pass. He's under pressure and hit by Dwight Rollins. That was so close to being our first sack today. Now it's third and 10. Back in shotgun, Friend will look to pass here. He stands in the pocket, goes over the middle, caught by Hall, but he is two yards shy of the mark. Following the punt, Oklahoma will take over at their own 19 yard line. Out of shotgun, will give it to Chris McKinney, who goes up the middle for a gain of nine. That run will take us into the second quarter. We're at a second and one. Out of shotgun, we'll give it back to McKinney, who goes up the middle for another sooner. First down, brought down for a gain of nine. First and ten, Griffin back in pistol for the next play. We'll take the snap, run the play action, and now we're going to go deep downfield for John Mangum, who has to dive to make the catch, but is in. I screwed up the call at the end of that play. We take over at the 21-yard line. Griffin in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. Roll out to the outside, waiting for someone to come open. We'll finally throw it downfield. That's caught by McKinney for a gain of 16. This offense is rolling today. First and goal from the five. Take the snap, hand up to McKinney, up the middle, who breaks the tackle, breaks another, and we'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. We make it 21 to seven. And this game has now gone final. Alabama will be going to the SEC championship after winning 29 to 22. LSU takes over at the 25-yard line again. Brand out of shotgun will be looking to pass. He lobs it downfield to an open man that's caught by Love who fumbles the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Second and 10, Fran will send a man in motion. Hand up to Jones to the outside, and Jones will break one tackle but gets swarmed by more Sooners for a loss of three. That sets up a third and 13. Fran out of shotgun will look to pass. He lobs it downfield, caught by Massey, but it's knocked out of his hands. They'll punt it away. Following a decent punt return, the Sooners take over at the 45-yard line. We will come out and give this one to McKinney, who will run to the outside using his speed to get to the edge. Chris McKinney up the sideline inside the 20 and will be brought down inside the 15. Now Griffin from under center on the next play. We'll drop back to pass. We're going to wait in the pocket and now get rid of it, and that will be his first incomplete pass of the day. Second and 10 for Griffin in the offense now. He takes the snap and will look to pass. We'll go downfield, caught by Patterson, who will walk into the end zone. And that is three passing touchdowns from Sean Griffin here in the first half as we go up 28 to seven. First and 10 from the 25 yard line now. Friend out of shotgun, will drop back looking to pass. He goes downfield and finds Washington who had to make a one-handed grab. No gain from the running back on the next play leads to a second and 10. Fran back in shotgun, will be looking to pass again. And he lobs it down the right sideline. That'll be caught by Love, but he could not get a foot in bounds. Now it's third and 10. Brand in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass again. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Love for a five yard gain, but not a first down. We start this drive at about the 23 yard line. Griffin from under center will drop back to pass. And we're going to unload this deep downfield for John Carrington, who will catch it in the middle of three people, but can't hold on to it through traffic. Second and 10, Griffin back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. We're going to throw this over the middle. That's caught by Patterson for the easy first down, a gain of 11. Now Griffin from under center. McKinney is the running back. We'll run the play action to McKinney. And we're going to go deep downfield for John Carrington again. And this time he's outran the defense inside the five and a touchdown for the Sooners. We are up 35 to seven. First and 10 from the 25 yard line again. Brand in shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. And he throws over the middle. That's caught by Massey for a gain of eight. 
That sets up a second and two for the LSU offense. Brayan in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. And he lobbed it downfield. He's got a man open. That's caught by Washington down the sideline. And he is caught at about the 10-yard line. Now it's pretty much first and goal. Freyand in shotgun. Jones is the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass. Standing in the pocket. Goes over the middle. Caught by Love. And he'll be brought down at about the five. Second and four. Freyand will send Massey in motion. It's a handoff to the receiver to the outside. But he'll be brought down in the backfield by Dwayne Jones. Third and six now. Back in shotgun. Jones is the running back. Freyand will take the snap and look to pass. And he throws it to the outside. And that one should have been intercepted because Jeff Cox apparently could not catch the ball. They will line up for a field goal to try to make it 35 to 10. The kick is away and it is good. Alexander will field this kick at about the three yard line. We'll see if we can get a solid return here. We have some good blocking and we're going to respond to that with a huge kick return from Victor Alexander inside the 20 and he is gone. Touchdown Oklahoma with two and a half minutes to go in the half. We may get 42 to 10 and I'm running out of breath on that. LSU immediately gets the ball back. Freyand out of shotgun will go over the middle. That's caught by Washington, and that will be a first down play for the Tigers, a gain of 13. First and 10, Freyand in shotgun again. 2.15 to go in the half. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's under pressure and lobs it downfield. That one will be tipped around and incomplete. That one probably should have been intercepted too. Second and 10, back in shotgun with two running backs in the backfield. Freyand will take the snap and look to pass. He goes over the middle on a slant route to Love for the first down, a gain of 16. A couple plays later, they face a third and eight with a minute 35 to go in the half. Freyand out of shotgun. With Horton as his running back, will take the snap and look to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Green, who gets a good block and ends up with the first down. First and 10, Freyand back in shotgun. Will looks to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Jones, and he will be quickly brought down for a loss of two. LSU would burn their first time out following that. So now it's second and 12. Brand back in shotgun. Jones still the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass. And he lobs it down the right sideline, and he is open again, but Love can't get a foot in bounds. Third and 12 here. Brand in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass again. Dancing around the pocket. He's going to go to the end zone into single coverage, and that will be intercepted by Adam Jackson in the back corner. First and it's in with a minute and one second to go in the half. Griffin from under center will drop back to pass. And we're waiting for someone to come open. We'll dump it off to McKinney for a short two-yard gain. We're not going to burn a timeout just yet. 40 seconds to go in the half. Griffin from under center. McKinney is the running back. We'll drop back to pass again. We're going to go downfield to Thomas Patterson, who's wide open. Gets into LSU territory down the sideline and forced out of the 45. Griffin back in pistol with 30 seconds left to play in the half. We'll run the play action. But he's going to go deep downfield for John Mangum, who will make the catch. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Five passing touchdowns from Sean Griffin today in just the first half, and we make it 49 to 10. LSU will get the ball to start the second half. From the 25-yard line, Fran will look to pass. He dumps it underneath, caught by Jones. That's a three-yard play. Their quarterback has already thrown the ball 37 times today, and now he's going to look for number 38 as he dumps it underneath, caught by Jones for the first down, forced out of bounds near the 40, a gain of 12. A seven-yard pass would then set up a second and three for the Tigers. Freyand out of shotgun. Will looks a pass. He lobs it down the sideline. Caught by Washington for the first down. A gain of 30 on the play. First and 10 from the 23-yard line. Freyand in shotgun. Jones is the running back. He'll take the snap. He's under pressure. He goes to the end zone, and that one will be almost intercepted. Dwayne Jones, you have to catch that one. That would bring up a second and 10 now. Fran still back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass again. Under pressure, and that is going to get swatted away by David Jordan. Third and 10, Fran out of shotgun. We'll take the snap and lob it down the sideline, and that one should have also been picked off that time by Walter Siegel. They will settle for a field goal try. This one will be about 40 yards away to try to make it 49 to 13. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and this one is good. Quarterback Sean Griffin is done for today. I've seen enough from him. Now we have quarterback Sam Townsend in the game. The reason I'm doing this is he's most likely going to be the starting quarterback next season, and I want to see exactly what he can do. So first and 10 from the 25, we'll run a read option with Townsend, who has a little bit of speed, and he'll bounce us to the outside for the first down, a gain of 13. Not only have we made a change at quarterback, we've also made the change at running back. John Jordan is now in the game, and we'll give it to him on this play to the outside, and he ends up with a six-yard run. Second and four, Townsend back in shotgun. John Jordan still in the backfield with him. It'll be a counterplay to Jordan on the outside, and Jordan will try to make that man miss, but get brought down for a nine-yard gain. I should have just trucked him and kept going. Townsend back in shotgun for a second and nine following a one-yard run. 
He takes the snap out of Shotgun. Will go over the middle. That's caught by Mangum. And John Mangum will be brought down near the 20. A gain of 27. We're back in shotgun from the 19-yard line. Take the snap and give it to John Jordan, who will go to the outside, run over a player, and get the first down for a gain of 13. Now a five-wide set for Townsend here on first and goal from the six-yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll go over the middle, caught by Mangum, and that is his third touchdown today, and we are up 56 to 13. LSU faces a third and 10 and a possible three and out on their next drive. Fran will take the snap. It's a screen, but he's under pressure and gets blown up by both defensive ends. That is both Dwight Rollins and Dwayne McDaniel back there. Oklahoma comes out to start their next drive in shotgun formation. We'll give it to John Jordan, who goes up the middle, and Jordan with a nine-yard gain. A four-yard run on the next play would give us a new set of downs, and we come out with an option play for Tam Sam Townsend, and he pitches it to the outside to John Jordan, and he is inside the 10-5. Touchdown, Oklahoma, 63 to 13. We jump into LSU's next drive. It's third and five, a possible three and out. From a five wide set, he'll find Hall over the middle, but that's not enough for a first down and they'll punt it away. We jump a little bit ahead into the fourth quarter and onto the Sooners' next drive. It's third and seven. Townsend back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. We'll go downfield for Thomas Patterson who makes the catch to the 25 yard line. A nine-yard run from John Jordan on the next play brings up a second and one for the Sooners. So we go right back to John Jordan up the middle, and he'll get the first down for a four-yard run. Now on first and ten, running back Chris McKinney is back in the backfield with Townsend and John Jordan. We'll take the snap and give it to McKinney, who will run to the outside, get a good block from John Jordan, and now McKinney has a big run with five and a half minutes to go in the game. We will go up 70-13 to 13 from 62 yards out. We'll jump a little bit ahead into the LSU drive with five minutes to go in the game. It's first and 10. Fran out of shotgun. We'll be looking to pass. He dumps it underneath. That's caught by Jones, and he will get a first down for the Tigers, a gain of 13. But now he is injured on the play. A nine-yard pass on the next play brings up a second and one. Fran out of shotgun. We'll look to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by Battle. He has the first down to about the 30. A couple plays later, it is now third and four for the Tigers. Back in shotgun from the 25-yard line. Hand off to Horton, who goes up the middle, and he will be brought down for only a gain of a yard. You know, when you're down by 57, why not go for it on fourth down? Fourth and three with three minutes to go. He'll take the snap. It's a screen to the outside. There is nobody there to block him, and Perry will have a first down and more brought down inside the five, a gain of 22. We brought a blitz, and very obviously, that was not a good idea. Now, first and goal, they come out with two running backs in the backfield in shotgun formation. Fran will run an option play, and he is brought down in the backfield for a loss of three. Second and goal from the five. Fran back in shotgun. Horton is the running back. 2.28 to go. He takes the snap, looking to pass. He goes over the middle, caught by Reed. Touchdown, LSU. They make it 73 to 20. I apologize. I meant 70 to 20. I definitely did not forget the score. The best part about this is they are lining up to go for an onside kick down by 50 with two and a half minutes to go. Whitaker will recover and will just dive to the ground. That would be the final of this absolute beating that the LSU Tigers just took. The player of the game is apparently going to be Chris McKinney, even though I could have seen it be a lot of people today. We had John Mangum with three touchdowns, Sean Griffin threw five, Chris McKinney had a big day. This was complete and total domination from start to finish. Literally the first play of the game was right here. This screen pass to McKinney that went 75 yards to the house, and now we are 11-0. The final stats on today, Sean Griffin goes 13 for 15, 351 yards and five touchdowns. Sam Townsend came in, goes three for three for 48 yards and a touchdown. Running the ball, we had both running backs go over 100 yards. John Jordan with 131 and a touchdown. Chris McKinney with 154 and two touchdowns. Receiving John Mangum, seven for 158 and three scores. Thomas Patterson, four for 72 and a touchdown. Chris McKinney, three for 93 and a touchdown. And John Carrington, one for 65 and a touchdown. David Jordan led the team in tackles with a total of 10 today. He had seven in the second quarter, so apparently he slowed down a lot later in the game. Tackles for loss, several people got one. In sacks, we only got one today. That was defensive end Dwight Rollins and interceptions. Adam Jackson got one. We should have had about three or four today at minimum. LSU's quarterback Steve Fran had to throw the ball 55 times today. He completed 36 of those for 380 yards, one touchdown, and an interception. On the ground, they really could not do a whole lot. Their main running back went eight for 17, did find the end zone once. And then receiving their best receiver was Julian Washington, 7 for 140. The only one to get a touchdown is DJ Reed. 
heading to week 14, which is a bye week, we fall from number one to number three. How do we drop 70 points on a team and then fall two spots in the rankings? In the college football playoff rankings, Alabama jumped from three to one because they beat Florida, California stayed at two, and we fall to number three. It looks like California beat a ranked Michigan. Let's see where Michigan was ranked. I'm just a little curious. Looks like they were ranked number 10 whenever they lost. So, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because the top eight teams go to the playoffs, but it really sucks that we lost our number one ranking. Despite Chris McKinney having over 200 yards of offense and three touchdowns in the last game, he does not move on the Heisman watch list. Looks like Gerald Smith stays on top. He had a 220 yard, three touchdown performance. Moving on though, we head to week 15 where we remain at number three in the country, but our next game is Bedlam against the Oklahoma State Cowboys who are currently eight and three. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll talk to you next time.